this video, we're going to take a look at mixture problems where we know the final amount. As is always the case with an application problem, it's important we start by defining the variables. We need to know what the answer x equals 7 means in terms of the problem we're working with. Once we've defined the variables, we can then make an equation for the amount of stuff we have, and then another equation for the mixture we're creating. In our first example, a chemist needs 100 milliliters of a 38 percent solution. On hand, she has 20 percent of acid and 50 percent of acid in another solution. How many of each should she use? With mixture problems, we found it's important to define how much we start with. We'll call that A. How much gets added? We'll call that B. And then a total for the final amount. So this is the amount that we start with. B is the amount that is added. And T is the amount in the total. So then we kind of look for what we know. The chemist creates 100 milliliters of a 38 percent. Is that the amount she started with, added, or had at the end? It's the amount she has at the end. It's what she wants to create. We actually know the amount of the total, so we don't need that. There's going to be 100 milliliters of this 38 percent, which is 0.38. On hand, then, she's got 20 percent and 50 percent, and I guess it doesn't really matter which one we start with and which one we add, but there's 20 percent and 50 percent. And so we can end up with an equation to represent this situation. First, an equation for the amounts. She starts with A, we don't know how much, but she adds to it B, we don't know how much, but we do know she ends up with, at the end, 100 milliliters of solution. And then when we create our mixture, for each A, she gets 20 percent of it in acid. So we'll multiply by 0.2. For the B, she gets 50 percent in acid. We'll multiply by 0.5 and add those together to get the final amount, which is the 38 percent of the total which is the 100. Again, notice in the mixture problems, we see this percent times the amount, percent times the amount, percent times the amount, all the way across. That's very important for our mixture problems. And as we look at this problem, we see it is actually set up to be a nice, quick solve problem by elimination, or the addition method. We can do that by multiplying the first equation by negative 0.2. That'll get rid of the a's. So the first equation is negative 0.2a minus 0.2b equals negative 20. And the second equation is 0.2a plus 0.5b equals, let's go ahead and multiply that out. Point three eight times 100 is 38. And then we can add those together because the a's are gone, leaving us with point three b equals 18. Now to get b alone, we'll divide by point three, giving us b equals 60. Going back to what we started with, we want to know how many milliliters of each, so we are looking for both. So we know there are 60 milliliters of the B. B is the 0.5 or 50 percent, so there's 60 milliliters at 50 percent. We still need to find A, and we can do that quickly by going back to the original equation. A plus B, A plus the 60 has to equal 100. And we can quickly subtract 60 from both sides to see A is equal to 40. A is the amount at 20 percent, so we have 40 milliliters at 20 percent. And we now know how much of each part to use to create 100 milliliters of a 38 percent acid solution for this chemist investigation. Let's do another example where we take the time to clearly identify the variables and use that information to make an equation. 
Here are coffee distributors mixing coffee that sells eight ninety a pound, another coffee with it that sells eleven sixteen per pound. How many pounds of each should they mix if he needs fifty pounds that sells for nine eighty five? So we have the amount of the f starts with, we'll call that A. B is the amount that's added. And technically A and B are pretty interchangeable. And then T is the total or the amount at the end, the amount total. So let's see what we know. We're selling for eight ninety a pound. Is that the amount that we started with, added, or the total? The coffee mix distributor begins the m by mixing the eight ninety a pound. The eight ninety is the amount that we started with. Is the price on the starting amount? Then we've got this other stuff that's eleven sixteen a pound. What's that? That's the amount that's mixed in. That's the amount that's added to it. So the price on that is eleven sixteen. And then finally we end up with fifty pounds selling for nine eighty five. We know the total amount is fifty pounds and it sells for nine eighty five. So let's use this information to make an equation. We start with some amount, we're going to add to it some other amount, and it's going to equal our total amount of fifty. Not caring about the prices, just the amounts. Then we have our mixture. Here we do care about the price. The price on A is eight ninety times A, tells you how much A we end up with, plus the price on B is eleven sixteen times B, tells us how much B we end up with. And then the price on the final amount is nine eighty five times the fifty, which is the amount there. This relationship's important. Price times the amount, price times the amount, price times the amount. That's very important for mixture problems. You need both parts for all, every piece of this equation. Again, we're set up to use elimination or addition, so let's do that. Let's multiply the first equation by negative eight point nine on both sides. That's going to give us negative eight point nine A minus eight point nine B equals negative fifty times point eight nine is forty four point five. The other equation eight point nine A plus eleven point sixteen B equals, let's go ahead and multiply nine eighty five times fifty, and that's going to be four ninety two point five. Whoops, I think I should have fifty times point eight nine as I'm doing that again is four forty five. Negative four forty five even, point zero. Yeah. Yes. All right, so continuing on, we're ready to eliminate the A's. We've got eleven point sixteen minus eight point nine B, which leaves us with two point twenty six B equals four ninety two point five minus four forty five is forty seven point five. Dividing both sides by two twenty six, two point two six. We get B equals twenty one point oh one seven and then it goes on. Real world, a lot of the times the numbers don't come out nice, so let's just round it. We've got twenty one pounds at B is eleven sixteen. And then going back to the original equation, we're rounding to twenty one, so let's say A plus twenty one equals fifty. So subtracting twenty one will give us A equals twenty nine. We have twenty nine pounds at A, which is eight sixty a pound. And we have our final solution by identifying the variables, identifying what we know, and setting up our system of equations.